We're learning more about weather balloons and their use. Meteorologist Alden German explaining where they come from and what they do. Alden? Well, Shay, weather balloons are a very important tool used in meteorology to get a profile of the atmosphere. This is an example of one, and they can be fairly large. They're launched twice a day at 7 a.m. Eastern Time and 7 p.m. Eastern Time from over 90 National Weather Service offices. Now, the National Weather Service office in Louisville does not launch them. The closest sites to us are Springfield, Illinois, Wilmington, Ohio, and Nashville. Now, under the right condition, these balloons can rise as high as 100,000 feet well into the stratosphere before they pop and they can also move many miles eastward depending on how strong those winds in the middle and upper layers of the atmosphere are. Now they often carry just these tiny little boxes like this that even say it's a harmless weather instrument to record that data in the atmosphere. Uh, now because of those wind speeds, sometimes those balloons can move a couple hundreds of miles or they can hardly move anywhere at all. But devices like this are particularly useful on days when severe weather is, uh, is expected because it can show us a lot of information about the atmosphere, such as the temperature, moisture profile with height, and how the wind behaves with height. It's not just the United States, many other countries, hundreds actually launch weather balloons. So at any given time during the day, there could be hundreds of them in the air at once. So again, we don't launch them here, but those soundings, these uh, weather balloons are going to be very useful for events like Thursday when we are expecting some potential severe weather in our area. As we